Hi, I'm Steve Christina from Arc Academy. Arc Academy is a small beginner and entry level welding school here in Chicago, Illinois. And what we do is we teach beginners how to weld. But everybody that comes through our door usually doesn't have any idea what welding actually is, which is the liquefaction of a base metal with heat and then they fuse together. And there's three most common systems that do this, MIG, STICK, and TIG. And what we're gonna do before we jump in is have a review of all three of these processes. Before we get started, let's talk about the common characteristics of each process, okay? So in welding, you have three basic elements. You have your heat source, your filler metal, and then your shielding gas or your flux. So let's talk about MIG welding. MIG welding, the uh, filler metal is your electrode and it's on a spool of wire and it is also a shielding gas process. So the advantages to this is it's gonna be much easier to learn because you preset all of your parameters. It's gonna be much cleaner because you don't have any kind of slag process and you could hit a wide variety of metal thicknesses. So if you're in a garage, in your shop, that is a great process to use. Stick welding, because it is a flux-based process, works awesome outside. Wind doesn't affect it as much and it can also work on thicker metals really Really well. Another advantage of it is if your metal is dirty, if you're working on farm equipment or on a gate or even in your driveway, rust and debris don't affect it as much as the other processes. A few of the disadvantages of stick welding is you're going to have a lot of spatter, a lot of vapor, off-gassing and fumes, so it's not something you want to do indoors too much. Uh, another thing is uh, if you're working on automotive frame mounts, it's not the prettiest or cleanest weld. Usually when you're working on some sort of frame, you're either going to pick MIG or TIG. So some of the advantages of TIG welding is you're going to get the highest quality weld. It's also going to be aesthetically more pleasing. It's a pretty bead. Uh, and it also works great on thinner metals. But the only problem is it's very difficult to control because you're controlling all three of your elements in process. Your leg is controlling your heat, your opposite hand is typically controlling your filler metal deposition rate, and then of course, you have a non-consumable tungsten electrode that is creating your arc as you move through the V. This is considerably slower process as well, so usually when you're working on TIG welding, you're gonna be working on stuff like a frame for a motorcycle, automotive, sheet metal, something in that regard. We've highlighted the advantages of each welding process. Now we gotta talk about what you're gonna do. All of my students that come up to me that they're about to buy a welder, they ask me, which one should I get? Well, it really depends on what you're gonna be doing most. If you are outdoors working on farm equipment, you're typically gonna go with a stick welder, thick metal welding, dirtier uh, material. If you're working on thin metals, HVAC, if you're doing frame outs, go with a TIG welding process. If you want a wider range and you're gonna be working indoors, MIG welding is probably what you're gonna want. Now let's get a little bit more specific about what metals you can use for each process. MIG will typically have the ability to weld steel, stainless steel, and aluminum alloys. Stick has the ability to weld on steel, stainless steel, and cast iron. Whereas TIG pretty much runs the gamut. You can weld on any metals that conduct electricity. Steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, chromoly and exotic metals such as magnesium and titanium. We hope you enjoyed this video and you got a lot out of it. Uh, we highly encourage you to move on and watch the rest of the videos in this series. We break down purchasing a welder based on your needs. If you're looking for more educational videos, go to arcacademy.com. We have an entire library of learning tutorial videos where you can grow your knowledge of welding.